So one thing I want to point out, just as we say goodbye to these seniors, which are just an unbelievable, impressive group, and if we have any, if we have any other seniors in the audience who are here today, I want to point out uh, to three of our graduating seniors, Shitan Thompson, our CO, um, Bermuda P, our XO, and Jennifer Mendoza, one of our uh, officers also. You guys step forward. So these three individuals were accepted into uh, the Navy ROTC program at Rutgers, uh, which is a national scholarship program, which awards them full scholarship and So these three individuals will go on to be midshipmen in Rutgers and will eventually be commissioned to be naval officers when they graduate after graduating with an engineering degree from Rutgers. So the competition the scholars have begun to be able Alright, so I just want to say, I mean, the pride I have, I can't talk about it. some of the people who are standing up here because I literally will get choked up. They really are like daughters to me. And it's crazy, when I look at them, I gotta look away, because I'm like, I can't. You guys don't graduate for like 22 days, so I don't have to worry about it. But just what we've seen this year out of these leaders, um, young men and women, uh, the four women, young women who run our program, okay, are uh, Janelle Costanas, she stepped forward. Janelle. Alex Alvarez, hiding back there. I mean, you cannot understand what it is for them to run an organization, 450 kids, and they run it like I've never seen before, and I just see them as adults, uh, and it's crazy just to see what they have done this year. I said they're a generational, uh, once in a generation group of leaders uh, that we had this year, and honestly, like, to, to say goodbye to them is really going to hurt. So thank you, girls, so much for what you did for me. We will now conduct a change of command ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the 2018-2019 Regimental Chain of Command. It is my pleasure to introduce the outgoing commanding officer, Captain Jen Thompson. This will be her final remarks as your commanding officer of uh, the NGLTC Regiment. But as much as it hurts me to have to say goodbye, I feel in my heart that I owe it to these five instructors to excel after high school. It is because of them that I have experienced so much in four short years and ultimately become the person who is standing before you today. Believe it or not, but when I entered ROTC, I wasn't even confident enough to step up and tell someone how I felt. The idea of running a mile seemed beyond impossible to me, and I carried myself in an extremely apprehensive way. However, this was before I had the privilege to work alongside these incredible instructors as well as cadets. Sophomore year, I acquired the trait of courage. Mass Sergeant Gamos did not tolerate the timid, anxiety-filled Jatem who entered his very first ROTC class. Immediately, I was thrown into a variety of leadership situations in which I was forced to learn how to overcome them on my own. Master Sergeant instilled a much more stringent side of discipline within me and not only gave me the courage to make decisions on my own, but also the courage to claim responsibility for a poor decision I had made. Master Sergeant. Following that year, I was able to accomplish tasks both in ROTC and in my everyday life that I never thought was possible. And thinking about it now, I never would have made it through my senior year without the courage that you gave me as a sophomore. And I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Junior year was by far the toughest, but it also was the year that I learned the most. My principal life lesson this year was overcoming failure. There were many times before this in which I did not succeed in things the way that I thought I would. But junior year was the first time in my life 
that I had fully devoted myself to something and still fell up short. I was the unit's drill team commander, and my goal was to lead them to nationals. I poured my heart into the drill team that year and worked harder than I had ever worked before. However, the team still did not qualify, a concept which was extremely difficult for me to understand at first. How could I put in such a large amount of exertion and still not reach my goal? Well, to my amazement, excuse me, Chief Velez had gone through the same thing in his life. In his last year in the Navy, Chief was devoting himself to become a senior chief. In the end, he also fell short, similar in the way that I had. Chief, you don't know this, but that story really opened my eyes. It showed me that sometimes letdowns like these seem like the end of the world, but life always goes on. I never would have imagined you experienced a letdown like this because of how successful you are today. And that gives me hope that no matter what I might encounter in my life, I will always be okay in the long run, just like you were. Fortunately, I was able to watch a person very closely who upholds an outstanding quantity of perseverance. Commander Decker. In the three years that I have known you, in the three years I have known you, I have never seen you give up. No matter how tired, stressed, or sick you might have been, you always kept moving. Literally, everything that happens within the unit, both good and bad, always fall back onto you. Yet you don't allow any of it to deter you away from your overall goal of impacting every single cadet in some way. You truly are the definition of selfless. And I hope I could be at least a quarter of the naval officer that you were, because that guarantees that I will be successful in the service. <laughs> to top four, words can't describe how grateful I am to have met you and become so close to all of you. You all have been some of the best friends I've ever had. And I most definitely will miss the laughs and the sleepovers and the pizza nights. But I can't wait to see the three beautiful, successful women you all will become in a few years. Lastly, to my parents. Thank you for raising me the way that you have. I have really grown to appreciate the morals and the values that you instilled in me from a young age. Every choice that I have made was with you in mind, and the two of you will continue to be my number one motivation to succeed. Once again, I would like to thank everyone who attended tonight's ceremony. It was a pleasure to be your regimental commanding officer. I am ready to be relieved. I will now read my appointed letter. I'm ready to assume command. From Senior Naval Science Instructor to Cadet Gilbert Nolasco. Subject, Assumption of Command. Pursuant to the requirements of Reference A, you are hereby assigned to the billet of Regimental Commanding Officer of the Linden High School Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit. Signed, B.C. Decker, Commander, United States Navy, retired, Senior Naval Science Instructor. Chateau Promotion. Recognition of demonstrated fidelity and abilities, I hereby appoint Cadet Gilbert Nolasco to the rank of Captain for the Office of Regimental Commanding Officer. 
in Linden High School, Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. Concurrent with this appointment is a charge to carefully and diligently discharge all duties of rank and grade to which appointed by doing performing all manner of things therein to pertain. And to further charge will require all personnel of lesser grade to render respect and obedience to appropriate orders. This appointee is further charged to observe and follow such orders and directions as may be given by superiors acting according to the rules governing the Navy Junior, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit. Signed, Boyd, Boyd Decker, Command, United States Naval Retired, Senior Naval Science Instructor. I relieve you. I stand relieved. Sir, I have been relieved as the commanding officer of the Linden and the ROTC. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the new commanding officer of the Linden Navy General GC, Cadet Captain Gilbert Alaska. Thank you for that great welcome. During the next year, I will have the privilege of working closely with the executive officer. Cadet Gladys Mendez, the Command Master Chief, Maurice Folk. In keeping with tradition, all cadet regulations, standing orders, and policies remain in effect. And also, before I conclude my remarks, I would like for all of us to give a round of applause to our retiring top 12. for your service to our great unit. Thank you, God bless you all, God bless the United States of America. It's now my pleasure to introduce the cadets selected for the 2018-2019 regimental staff. The regimental executive officer, Cadet Commander Lonelise Mendez. Regimental Command Master Chief, Cadet Maurice Falk. The Regimental Operations Officer, Cadet Shakira Brown Roberts. Headquarters Battalion Commander, Cadet Commander Andrew Lopez. Cadet Lieutenant Commander Eric Hernandez. First Battalion Commander, Cadet Commander James Munoz. And 
executive officer of the Democratic United, Mahesh Lopez. <laughs> Second battalion, Cadet Commander, Isaac DeSantana. <laughs> and executive officer, Cadet Lieutenant Commander, Rajesh Lopez. Third battalion cadet commander, Jack Bevillano, <laughs> and executive officer, cadet lieutenant commander, Ariana Eastwood. Please join me in congratulating for 2018 2019. <laughs> Thank you. We thank you all for your support and look forward to seeing you again next year.